Hi everybody, this is Janique. Thank you for turning in. Today, I'm gonna talk about moving object, which I have a video already on moving object, but a lot of people been hitting me about it. How do you get delivered from the moving object? And my experience with the moving object, it's gonna be a short video because I already have a longer version to this, but I went through this moving object back when I decided that I was gonna give my life fully to God back into 2019. I was going through this when I decided I was going to serve God and live my life fully. I think I was having it before because I used to feel stuff moving in my belly, like something kicking. And I just ignored it when I was out in the world. But it, I had it in. But the devil, you know, Satan tell them to increase it once I got saved. I already had it in me because I had spiritual spouse problem from back in the world when I was out in the world. I used to have dream mm -hmm. having sex with guys in my dream and I didn't know that it was demonic. I just thought it was a dream until it started becoming real and until I start getting raped in person. I'm sitting there. I can't see nobody, but I know something is stimulating my private area and it was become very wicked and evil. I have to be always praying all the time then because it was scary for me that I couldn't see what I was getting stimulated down there. If I would tell somebody, they would think I'm crazy, but I was getting raped while awake. They didn't decide to just torment me in my sleep. They decided to do it while I was awake. So I think this is one of the way these evil demon coming to your body, moving the creature through demonic deposit when the spiritual spout incubus sleep with your succubus sleep with you yes when they let out the sperm inside the woman they let out like a serpent and spirit octopus sometimes it could be ants bees it's a lady they find a lady i watch a video they pull a crab out of her private area a frog out of her private area it could be a lot of different stuff it could be when you feel these stuff crawling around in your body to me when it was in my body it felt like I thought it was roach <laughs> I was like oh did a cockroach get inside my body roach that's what it felt like to me because it was in my lower back and it felt like roach crawling around then I started feeling it um it was all over when I had it my lower back my private area my foot bottom, I used to be driving and feeling, and I have to start binding it. You evil spirit, I crush you. I use the same foot to crush you. And yes, while I'm driving, they was tormenting me. And my foot would move around. In my head, I had it a lot, a lot of movement in my head. And that one is really not good when you have it in your head. I had it in my eyes at one point. I had it in my mouth, which at one point, the devil was tormenting me but there is hope people of god because i am free today from that so there is hope it was just for a season it was just for a season so it coming in through incubus and so because demon and it also coming through eating in the sleep and it coming through when they send witchcraft against you they're working witchcraft against you which they make it in your dream anyway you're coming to agreement in your dream and this way the enemy come and sow evil tears while man sleep. The enemy come and sow evil tears and went his way. So that's how we come in through these evil dreams. When you're sleeping, you dream, you know, um, like you're having sex, baby is sucking on your breast, um, you're giving birth, um, people feeding you. He had come in through that. You dream the snake in your dream. Or reptile it coming through these stuff it's coming through these stuff these are ways it comes in through this stuff I was trying when I was going through that um, some people say it was food allergy so I cut everything out and I still was it was even worse when I cut everything out and I noticed certain stuff stimulate those demon when I eat sugar it was worse so yes certain stuff you eat do make it worse. When I was eating sugary stuff, I noticed that the demon would move around a lot and stuff. But I did cut out a lot of stuff, but it didn't go away. It just weren't as bad. So your diet have a role to play with it. When you need to get your deliverance, you have to be eating proper. Because if you eat a lot of sugary stuff, cookies, chips, junks, um, sweet juice, yes, 
it make it worse. I noticed that when I eat certain stuff, it was worse. If I eat flour, it was worse. Cake, yes, it was worse, but it still weren't gone. It was still there. In order for you to get rid of this stuff, you have to get somebody to cast the demon out of you. You have to get a woman or a man of God to cast that evil spirit out of you. In the meantime, what you could do is break all covenant and curse with witchcraft. You have to repent, renounce, denounce. Do a lot of repent, renounce, denouncing. If I must go over the list of repent and renounce and denounce, I do have more than a hundred stuff. I repent and renounce, denounce. I try to do it regularly that I'm making sure repent, renounce, denounce, being an occult, repent, renounce, denounce, being secret society, repent, renounce, denounce, being in the Lord, repent, renounce, denounce, witchcraft, repent, renounce, denounce, sorcery, repent, renounce, denounce, fornication. You have to go through a list and do repent, renounce, denounce, to f um, free these evil spirit, get rid of this evil spirit from your body. Repent, renounce, denounce, eating in your dream. Repent, renounce, denounce, sleeping with, demonic spirit in your dream because you know in Kabbalah and so because demon they're marrying spirits they're demons they're not you're not sleeping with that person that you think you're sleeping with you just end up sleeping with these evil marrying spirits so you have to repent renounce the notion we're not supposed to do that we're not supposed to eat in our dream so you have to repent renounce the notion all those tough first that's first step in deliverance and then you're gonna fast I would recommend a three day and a three night fast, but check with your doctor because I don't know your medical condition. If you're somebody healthy that could do a three day, three night fast, then go ahead for it. During the fat, those three day and three nights fast, you have to do warfare prior. Break every evil covenant with serpent and spirit. You crush the head of the serpent and spirit. God say he give you power to tread upon serpent and Scorpio. Start using your foot and stomping it. Literally doing it in the natural because it is happening spiritually. Start stomping it. You start praying warfare prayer. Any evil spirit that is defiling my body. Him shall God destroy. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. I break every covenant with you, evil spirit that is inside my body, that is tormenting my body day and night. I break every covenant. I break the initiation. I break the curse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I curse you at the root in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, see the fig tree and he cursed the fig tree. I curse you in the mighty name of Jesus at the root. I command you to burn because God just said Hebrew 12 and 29. He's a consuming fire. I send the consuming fire of God in my body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to burn you out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you lay hands on your belly wherever it is at and you command that evil spirit to come out. And when you command it to come out, you open your mouth and cough and let it out. This is how demon come out. Then you cough it out, you vomit it out, you burp it out, you yawn it out, you breathe it out, either your eye water run, you know, you could pee also, you could make a bowel movement. These are some of the ways the demonic spirit come out. You're doing a self deliverance and you know, you, you do that every day throughout the day you command it when you start moving to come out i command you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth you evil creature from my mother's house i curse you them i bind you them and i cast you out of me loosen your hole and go and you open your mouth and you ah, 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 cough it out or you yawn it out or you burp it out this is self-deliverance not really you doing it but it's god doing it but this is self deliverance. You're going to need faith to exercise it. We can't get no body. Then God will set you loose and free. Because you know your situation. You know your situation. So you're going to be aggressive like that. Cough out this demon and let it out. Because we do need to know to do self deliver. Even now I still do self deliverance. When certain stuff enter my body. I get up and I 
and I feel like a certain way, like I feel sickness. I know that was an evil tears the enemy so overnight. I went to my bed healthy. I do self-deliverance on myself and I cough it out. I command it to get out. You cannot stay in my body. I close every door that you come in through and I repent, renounce, denounce every sin that opened that door and I close it and I cough and I let it out and it have to go. So we have to learn self delivers in this end time how to set ourselves loose and free so you command that evil spirit to get out of your body it cannot stay in your body it is in violation make sure you're living a squeaky clean christian life repenting every day staying away from sin staying away from masturbation staying away from porno staying away from a loss cover your eye gates don't make stuff enter your eye gates through social media because they have a lot of naked girls naked man that could make those demons come back in these are way to keep the door closed once you get delivered from this evil moving creature because it's this evil moving creature they're wicked spirit i almost died when i had that stuff because for three days straight the serpent and spirit it wrap it wrap his body you know, the, the, the serpent and spirit in real life, or it wrap itself around its prey. It wrap itself around my spine and my back, going all the way down. And it was squeezing me. And when I breathed, it was hurting. Three days straight. This is when I just got saved. It did that. I was in so much pain. So at that time, I had to do some self-deliverance. That's how I was delivered from that. And it happened again. And next time, when that happened, I went on a fast both times. Happen again. The next time I had to go on a next three day fast and do self deliverance, and it and and I get free from that spirit. Wrap itself or again. I have horrible back pain, like no other, worse than labor pain. And I had three kids, and I you know I did a use, um, I lose my first child use epidural, but I never use it with this two last one and the epidural with my first child as soon as i got the epidural it was time for me to give birth so it didn't get even a chance to kick in so that's why i say i could have went natural and i went natural with my two other child because i feel all the pain <laughs> i didn't get a chance to kick in because as i get it it did something to me that it made the baby come right out <laughs> the baby was ready to come out as soon as i get it like uh, 10 minutes or 20 minutes later the baby was come, ready to come out because it was complaining about a lot of pain and they weren't paying me no mind. I think the baby was ready to come out. So I tell him I have to take the epidural now. I was just in too much pain and I don't know if this baby, when this baby is going to come and they weren't checking me. So yes, the pain was worse. This stuff, it could cause pain in the body. You have to bind and cast it out and it mess with your memory. So everything it steal from you when it was in your body, I pray that the Lord will restore you seven times, seven fold. Command everything it has swallowed up while it was in your body to vomit it out. Vomit out your Christian walk with God. Vomit out your testimony. Vomit out your virtue. Vomit out your glory. Vomit out your destiny. It's in your body and it's stealing stuff. When you're supposed to get breakthrough, you don't get it. When you're supposed to get a job, you don't get it. When you're supposed to get financial breakthrough, you don't get it. When you're supposed to have a blessing, you don't get it. When you're supposed to get a testimony, it swallow up everything. So you have to make sure after you get delivered, you reclaim everything. Don't just get delivered. Don't reclaim everything that's steal. It did steal stuff because the thief come to kill, steal, and destroy. It did steal stuff while it was in your body. So you recover everything. Recover back your body fully from every altar. Yeah. Take back your body, mind, and soul, and spirit from every altar because they have your soul and, you know, they have your altar. That's why they could do this stuff. And they use a voodoo doll to do this stuff. So you burn every voodoo doll. You burn every altar from your mothers and your father house, from in the heavens, from in the northeast, west, and the south, on the earth, and underneath the earth in the marine kingdom. Wherever they have your body at, your soul, your spirit controlling you, whatever prison they have you lock up in, you break free and loose over every spiritual imprisonment. God, this is spiritual. They have you in prison. That's why they could able to do this stuff to you, torment you. You know, when people in prison, in real life, they, the police and the officer could torment them they could beat them down it's the same thing in the spirit they have you in prison so you have to set yourself loose and free from prison whether it be in the second first and second heaven on the earth underneath the earth so you have to take back your, your soul and your spirit and your body wherever they have it every voodoo doll they have a few in the mighty name using 
to manipulate your body because they make a voodoo doll and do these stuff to money what do whatever they do to that voodoo doll is happening to you you burn the voodoo doll you burn every pin and needle some people they feel pin and needle you have to burn it with holy ghost fire you strike it down you break it you crush it you trample it you defeat them in the mighty name you curse them and you come on a wall of fire around you when they try to come a wall of fire will consume them in the name of jesus christ of nazareth the key to this is to live a holy righteous life don't listen to rap music and music of the world you have to be careful listen to false prophet and preacher they will come right back in everything you do they will come right back in because the devil is walking around looking for a body the devil. and then you're going to come back trying come to come back to his spirit home. the evil spirit but they come out they try to come back to their home looking for a body raw rural road the earth and when they can't find the body they say let me go back to my home where i was so you have to clean keep those doors closed like be holy be righteous read your bible pray in the mighty name of jesus pray a lot read your bible a lot this is what gonna make you grow and keep those doors closed and you have to fast to gain spiritual muscle to fight these evil spirits they don't give up easy it's a fight many people have been going through this 14 20 years but you know as the scripture said we per, um my people perish because we not we lack knowledge we have to fight these demon like aggressive warfare prayer to beat these demon down repent renounce the nose what our four parents did they did a lot of witchcraft they did a, they did a lot of bloodshed we have to repent renounce the nose and there's people in our family today they you're still doing witchcraft and bloodshed so it's something we have to repent renounce the nose every day because it open door for the enemy to come in even um if we have kids there's still an open door the enemy could come in through our kids to attack us through the bloodline so you know these stuff are just very spiritual so just try to keep the door closed once you get delivered but you will get delivered you will get delivered you're not gonna die in this stuff this stuff has taken out a lot of people but that won't be your portion in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i curse every moving object in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i bind it in the name of jesus and i render power powerless and i paralyze that evil spirit that is tormenting god people i command you to let god people loose and free right now in the name of jesus christ i send fire through this internet in the mighty whoever is listening to this and going through this stuff i break every chain in them i break every shock in them i burn every altar from their mothers and fathers those from the north east west and the south from the first and the second and from on the earth and underneath the earth and, and i set them loose and free from every evil altar every spiritual prison you have them lock up in. i kill them on the gate of hell in. i turned up on lucifer i I turn upon Dina, demons, I turn upon devil, I turn upon Satan, the mighty name. I burn them with fire and I command you to set them loose and free in the name of Jesus Christ of us. They are not a slave to you, Satan. They are God children. Set them loose and free today in the name of Jesus Christ of now. Be loose, be set free from this torment in the mind, from every serpent and spirit, from every python spirit. We crush the head of every serpent and spirit. We crush the head of every python spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. And I burn them with fire in the mighty. I draw for the sword of spirit and I chop their head off, their tail off, and I command them to uncoil out your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Set them loose and free right now in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed, God, people. Amen.